I'm Jeff Ray, the Executive Director of Business and Technology. Uh, we're here demonstrating Omron's new wearable blood pressure monitor. It's the first and only wearable blood pressure monitor in the world. Um, it's the only blood pressure monitor it's that... It's a watch. Wrong, it's a medical device. It may look like a smartwatch and it may have some of the features of a smartwatch, but it is a medical device and it's a big distinction. So this does the same as something like this? It does, actually everything that you see here is actually miniaturized to fit inside of this component, is this, this four pressure? factor. That's actually the time, because um, if you're going to make it look like a watch, it should tell the time. Um, but if I want to take my blood pressure, what I would do is I would press the start stop button. Is it going to squeeze your wrist? It is. It's going to put it so there. It's going to. I'll show you in a second. I would have to put my hand over my heart. Oh, Anytime really? you take your blood pressure at the wrist, Whoa. you have to put it at your heart level. That's interesting. And so it is now starting to inflate. Whoa. Inflating smartwatch, that's awesome. And before it finishes inflating, I'm going to give you a real quick close-up underneath of the band to show you inflating, but you're going to have to look quickly yep. because as soon as I move it away from my heart, it's going to deflate. So, ready? Give it a couple more seconds. One, two, three. So if you look quickly underneath there, you'll see that it was inflating and now it all went deflated and all the air has come out. It, was that a good number you just got? Well, let's take a look. So it told me it was 115 over 83. You'll another, notice that they're color coded. So the 115 means that I, that's good. That's my systolic. That's when my heart is actually contracting. My diastolic, the lower number, is when my heart is at rest. And that should be below 80. So because it's higher, it's red. Because of the, the, the sweets up there? Or? I think maybe just because I'm talking to you, you're, talking you make me nervous. <laughs> no. uh, um, so, so then it also has your pulse rate. Um, but on top of being a blood pressure monitor, we also include activity tracking. Your steps, your calories, your distance. You find those in a lot of fitness trackers. Same with sleep. You can track when you went to bed, when you woke up, and how many hours you had of restful sleep. But Amron takes it actually a step further, and we actually take your blood pressure during the night while you're sleeping. No way. Yeah. So that's, that's uh, nobody's doing that. Nobody's doing that. And really, Nobody wakes up. Puts, I mean, not sleeps with this on his arm. But you can sleep with this. And is that important to take it? Well, it is. So you've probably heard that most heart attacks and strokes happen at night while people are sleeping. And so what we want to do is be able to equip people to know what their blood pressure is at night so they, they don't have that surge in blood pressure when they're waking up in the morning when heart attacks happen. So by wearing this and understanding, am I having a spike in my blood pressure as I'm waking up every morning, you can have a conversation with your doctor and they can change your treatment program or your medication to help deal with that. So what's the holdup with FDA? I mean, Nothing. is there any... Uh, so because it's a medical because, device, this is very serious. You have to do clinical studies. For how long? So they usually can take anywhere from about two months to do the clinical studies, but then we publish them and we let the medical community, the physicians out there, they review it and they give their stamp of approval that they agree that this device should be used with patients and then we submit to the FDA. The FDA looks at all of the data that we have collected and then they will clear. People always think the FDA approves devices. They do not approve, they clear devices, meaning that they confirm that it does what we say it does. So how long time ago did you submit it to the community and FDA? So we've collected all the data. We're actually submitting at the end of January. It will take anywhere between three and five months for it to get to the FDA. And once they do, we will go into selling the product. So uh, in end of January, three to, uh, you're going to submit to the community of physicians no, first, so the FDA? We've already done that. And so now like it's it? yeah, So now we're going to the FDA. So starting from the beginning of February, it will take three to five months to get approved. And at that point, we will then go into selling the product. So the physicians think it's awesome already? We've already got the clearance from the physicians. They think it's accurate enough? Because Absolutely. What's the, what's the difference between the accuracy of this one and of the wristwatch? Are you the same number? So when it comes to the standard of how you have to prove that you're accurate, they don't make a differentiation between a wrist monitor and upper arm monitor. There's actually only one standard that you have to prove that you're accurate by. And that's what the FDA looks at is, are you as accurate as the international standard for accuracy? So, for this to pass the FDA, they have to agree that it's just as accurate as that device. Is it? It absolutely is. Absolutely is. Yeah. According to our clinical studies, we're waiting for the FDA to clear it and agree with that. 
because um, that's a huge deal, no? Are you gonna? Uh, well, uh, how, how much is the price? What are you gonna sell? So Armand has been making blood pressure monitors for 40 years, so we've been doing this a long time. Not as a wedge. Absolutely, but the technology is the same. The only thing that's different is we've miniaturized it. So we think that this should be something that the FDA recognizes Armand as a leader in, and hopefully will clear us pretty quickly. As far as the price stand go, price goes. We'll be launching it later in this fall. Pricing will be less than an Apple Watch, so if you took a $400 Apple Watch, will be significantly less than that, and somewhere around the price point of all the other wearables on the market. It's like a no-brainer, right? Actually, everybody should get it, even uh, people that don't have any heart problems. According to the American right? Heart Association, which just changed their guidelines two months ago, there are now over 103 million people in the United States that have hypertension. All of those people need to be monitoring because half of them don't know they have hypertension. 103 in the U.S.? 103 million people Only in the United in the US? States. In just the United States. A third States. of the U.S. One out of every two people. One out of the every of two? Of adults. Oh yeah, there's babies too and stuff. They don't yep. need it, right? So one out of every two adults have hypertension. And so, all those people need to be monitoring because half don't know they have hypertension. And even the half that do, medication only works half the time. So you need to be monitoring because being aware of your numbers is uh, the first step of being able to manage it. That saves lives. Absolutely. All right, so um, 2018 is happening. Uh, less than 399, less than 400. Yep. I was thinking less than an iPhone X would have been okay, but less than an iPhone Watch. Well, we, iPhone Watch. we want as many people as possible to be monitoring and using this. So we're it's not running uh, some Android uh, stuff, right? Nope, it's actually the, the operating system is a proprietary system that Amron created. You don't want to run Android Wear together with it or something. Nope. That would be confusing. Well, not only that, but we want to be able, there's a lot of intellectual property that goes into developing something like this. So we want to make sure that we're protecting that. So that's why we built our own operating system. Ah, you don't want to have a property app with Android. That's not us. You don't like that. So we are, so we're compatible with, and we'll be sharing with both iOS and Android. But we don't actually utilize their system to run our our um, heart view. You, you don't have notification guide. vibrations or anything like that. So there is, and actually, look how strong it is. So I'm going to go to the vibration. I want you to put your finger on the watch, and you can actually feel. So put it on there. Feel how strong that actually is. So very strong vibration. or messages. Emails or a text, or a incoming call, so notifications are on there as well. Nice. Uh, I think uh, it can go soon enough. I think uh, everybody should get one of those. We and agree. it should have been the Christmas 2017 present. Now you sound like my CEO. Okay, cool. <laughs>